Student's Book, pages 110 and 111. The Time Travellers. 2. Read and listen to the story to check your answers. The Marie Celeste. The children hid in a lifeboat and watched the sailors working. They didn't seem very friendly. Two of them came and stood by the lifeboat. I'm worried, one of them said. The captain's nervous. He's already shouted at me three times today. Achoo! sneezed Patrick. Whoops! I I'm sorry. The sailors heard the noise and looked in the lifeboat. They found the children and took them to the captain. Look what we found, one of them said. Lock them in my cabin, said the captain. He looked worried. I'll talk to them later. The children looked around the cabin. The door would not open. Now what? Alex asked. We'll have to wait and see what the captain says, said Patrick. Phoebe picked up a book from the table. Hey, listen, guys. It's the captain's diary. She read out. Things are strange. There is something wrong with the ship. I have a strong feeling that... Something bad is going to happen. Quick! Patrick interrupted. Come and look out of the porthole. Look at all those lights. It's our gate! Shouted Alex. We've got to go. But those lights are green, said Phoebe. Our gate's yellow. That's very strange. We've got to get out of here, said Patrick. Let's break the door down. The children picked up the table and banged it against the door. <coughs> it opened and they walked out. There were green gates glowing all over the ship. The children were amazed. Look, there's a sailor. He's walking through one of the green gates, shouted Alex. The sailor walked through the gate, and a second later, he was gone. Everything was silent. There was no one left. Now I remember, said Alex. The Marie Celeste was the ship that they found with no one on it. No one knew what happened. Now we know, but nobody would believe us, said Phoebe. Look! shouted Patrick. There's a yellow light. That's our gate. Come on! The children stepped into the yellow gate. They were gone in a flash and landed in their school playground with a thump. Whoa! I don't believe it! said Phoebe. We're home. Look, there are Sam and Rob. The time travellers ran over to their friends. Hey guys, said Patrick. You'll never guess what just happened. We had an incredible journey. That explosion in the science lesson created a time tunnel. Very funny. We haven't had science yet. It's this afternoon. <laughs> Sam laughed. Come on, lunch is nearly over and I want to play football. The three friends looked at each other. Mm -hmm. Were they really back at the right time? Or was something wrong? <laughs>